What a joy it is to come and share with you again these devotional moments. In Exodus chapter 15, Israel is fresh off of a victory. God has parted the waters and brought them through the Red Sea. And three days later, they are faced with a great trial. To remind us that after great moments and high triumphs in life comes Mara. Mara was the place they came to three days after they had the victory at the Red Sea and the Bible says there they encountered some bitter waters. Uh, it is a place where our joys and sorrow uh, meet us. And this text reminds us that joys and sorrows are very close together. And oftentimes in life we can go from singing to crying. We sing our song of triumph one day and three days later we have touched the bottom of disappointment and despair. They moved from triumph to trouble. If everything in your life is sailing along smoothly right now, be on the lookout because you will come to your own place of Mara, your own place of bitterness. Bible says they came to bitter waters. No freedom from Egypt. They had now been delivered from Egypt and brought through the Red Sea and now they are at a bitter place called Mara. They left one bitter place in life for another bitter place in life and that's the way life is in time. In life we often come to Mara because Mara is not geographical. In the life of the child of God, it's circumstantial. It is a place uh, on the map of life where we come to some bitter encounter, some bitter experience. If you haven't had your place of bitterness, keep on living because it's sure to come. Life can bring you to some bitter experiences. All of God's people by and by will visit the wells of Mara. There may be someone right now, if you were to be honest about it, that's where you are. You are at a place of, of bitterness. This text reveals that life uh, not only has bitter places, but it also has some bitter people because the Bible says when they came to Mara, people who had just three days earlier been singing the praises of Moses are now grumbling and complaining. Folk who had been singing and shouting the praises of God are now grumbling and complaining. And there's some bitter people in all of our lives. Some people we encounter, when we see them, we really want to turn and walk in the opposite direction. They have a way of zapping your strength and bringing clouds into the sunshine of your day. Here is a spiritual truth. A bitter spirit will keep you from being a better person. Bitterness is, is contagious. If you stay around bitter people long enough, you will discover that you will become bitter yourself. What happened to the people's praises of God? Why did they pout instead of pray? One word, forgetfulness. They forgot about the power of God in just three days. God had just done a mighty miracle for the people and three days later they are grumbling and complaining. Surely they had seen enough of God's power and work to know that he did not make mistakes and that he could perform anything necessary to provide for them. We are quick to forget about the goodness of God. We have short memories when it comes to God's goodness in our lives. We are soon to forget all he has done. It happened to the children of Israel just three days after their deliverance 
through the Red Sea. They are grumbling and complaining about bitter waters. Uh, the place was not only bitter, but the people became bitter. They became discouraged because they left God out of the equation. You would think that they would have remembered if God could bring us through a Red Sea, surely he can handle this place of bitter waters. That's God's word for you today. If you face with a bitter place, remember that that same God has delivered you and brought you through life's Red Seas. And if he can handle a Red Sea, surely he can handle your bitter place. Let's pray. Lord, we come to you today and we ask for your strength. We pray, O oh God, that you will touch our memories, that when we come to our bitter places, we will remember what you have already done, the Red Seas you've brought us through, the way marvelous and miraculous way you've delivered us from our place of bondage. We ask your blessings upon our lives, for we pray and ask it all in the wonderful name of your Son, Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. I want to remind you of our prayer calls on Wednesday mornings at 7 a.m. and then again Saturday evenings at 6 p.m. Please remember uh, our Sunday School Review at 8.30 followed by 9 a.m. worship. May the Lord bless you and may the Lord keep you as I pray.